but you need to mentally figure out which are the current carrying conductors. Hello and welcome to another one of our Ask the Expert series here at Boat How To. We're Nigel and Jan, and today we have another question about grounding. Here it goes. All my battery negatives are connected to the engine, but the engine is isolated from the shaft and there is no connection with seawater. I have a grounding plate with nothing connected to it. Would you recommend me to connect the DC main negative bus to this grounding plate to establish a seawater connection? So it looks like for now he's got a floating system, right? Floating DC it, it system. It looks like it was intentionally floated because the engine is isolated. That's assuming it really is isolated. Mm -hmm. And the rest of the system is isolated. So we've got, typically speaking, we've got a DC main negative bus when we're bringing all the DC negative conductors together. Uh, we might have a grounding bus, which uh, is if we have a lightning protection system or we have a bonding system or whatever, the AC grounding conductor, they'll be connected to the grounding bus and that'll be connected to the water. In his case, uh, I think uh, you read there that he's bringing all of his DC negatives to the engine block. It sounds like they're using the engine block as the DC main negative bus. Yeah. Uh, and then that is all isolated. So in typically speaking, we'd have the DC main negative bus, we'd have the grounding bus, and we'd connect those two together for a grounded system. So all of the uh, negative side of the boat systems, the grounding systems, they're all connected to the water. So I think in this case, uh, if they're truly trying to have an isolated DC system, they probably shouldn't be connecting it to the engine block because there's likely to be an accidental path to ground through mm -hmm. the prop shaft and to the water. Yeah. Uh, but they're probably not trying to isolate it, in which case they definitely should be connecting the thing to the water um, through a hardwired connection and not relying on some intermittent connection yeah. through the engine block. Yeah. And also, if it would have been a floating system, there would be requirements like double pole, circuit breaker, yes. switching, yes, and these and kind of things. A lot of other requirements. Yeah. So yeah. if that's not the case, then it's probably a better choice to, to ground it. Yeah. Yes, and it might be better to take those DC negatives off the engine block and put them onto uh, a DC main negative bus and then connect that to a grounding bus yeah. or to the grounding plate. Yeah. You can have the two buses together, the undergrounded system, the DC main negative bus and the grounding bus, they can be the same thing, but you need to mentally figure out which are the current carrying conductors and they're coming to the DC main negative bus mm -hmm. and which are the, the grounding conductors, which are there, typically speaking, are not current carrying mm -hmm. conductors. So there has to be some sort of separation there where you don't accidentally end up with grounding conductors being normally current carrying mm -hmm. conductors. Yeah. If you want to learn more about this, we actually talk about grounding both for DC and AC and also lightning protection in a lot of details in our advanced marine electrics course. So check that out at boathow2.com if you're interested to learn more. Thanks, Nigel. Right.